Hi guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video we're going to be repairing the Wiltshire SA pressure washer. Now the problem with this is the governor spring has gone loose. So what that means is when you put a load on the machine by pulling the trigger, it dies. So we've got a replacement governor spring. You also get a fuel spring and a replacement arm for it as well. So we're going to be fitting that today and it won't just help with pressure washers if you've got a wood chipper, anything with a four stroke engine really that uses a spring governor, you're able to um, repair it this way. So I hope this video helps and let's get to it. Right guys, so what we're going to do first is we're going to remove the air filter. That's just this wing nut at the top here. Oops, I already dropped something. That just comes off like right so. Go and put that to the side. Right. So now we're left with this assembler here. So we need to get the wrench. We're going to unbolt this nut here. that that's one and again and do this one here as well these are 10 mil nuts by the way cold out here at the moment and it's getting a bit cold there we go so that's now freed that up To remove this assembly, you might have to just there we go. Right, so that's got this assembly off now. So that then frees up the carburetor. We have got a dodgy seal there actually, so I need to get a new one for that. Right, so you want to push that like so, and then we pull up on the bar to release it. Now we need to unhook, unhook this spring here. Once we've done that, now. Take you down and show in here. In here, you've got the spring as well. So, I'm going to try and use the needle nose pliers just to there we go, that's got that unhooked. Take it off, take it off there. That's our old spring. Now we need to fit the new spring back on. There we go, so we've got the new spring back on. It's just the reverse of that. So we've got the spring, as you can see there. And just there you've got two different holes and that's just for slight tension adjustment 
so we need to try and hook it into the hole trying to use the needle nose pliers just to guide it but as you can tell it's not the easiest thing to do right we're in hopefully you saw that as you can see this now right guys so we're on the other end now and what we need to do is get this piece into this piece here that the reverse of what we did on the other step so oops, oh, let me do it like this so so just there, you can just see it there, and that's the end. So we need to push, put that in like that. And then we need to get it seated. So we need to, there's a little hole there, inside, we need to get it in and then push down. And then, as you can see here, it now allows it to go all the way. And there, the end of my finger now, you can see there's a hole, that's for the spring. So we need to take the spring. Be a bit fiddly, -ly. especially when you're trying to get it so people can see what you're doing. No. There we go, right. So if you say that's now hooked on and that now causes tension on that little rocker arm. So the way this the the way the governor works is as you put load on it, the spring causes this to open and close. And that in turn, that in turn gives gives more more air to the engine. I'll I'll show you through the carburetor, 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 whatever. Uh, I'll show you what that looks like now. Right, guys, this is the internal view of the carburetor. That's with with it fully open now. As you can see, when I move that governor arm, it open and closes a valve on the inside, letting more or less air in. Obviously, it's not moving as much as I'm doing it, but it will just go backwards and forwards as, as the engine's put under pressure. Right, guys, so now to put it back together, just uh, one thing I'll mention is you can see this pipe here that has to go there's a hole there which is where my just, mean, just in there so it's got to go in there so you just want to Place that back on. So 
as you can see I've put that back on I've put the seal back in I'm just going to pop the hose back in there right, so that's on So now we just need to do it back up. So put the bolt on there. Now I'm not doing it all the way tight up yet. I want to get both bolts back on before I tighten it. Before I tighten them, both. That's just. You might have heard of going in an X pattern or when you've got four four bolts it's to apply even pressure. So I'll just go between them, try a bit more pressure on each one. And now we've fully done up, right, that's tight on. So now we want to replace the air filter. And this can be a good time just to check your air filter. So right, that's what's inside your air filter. Let's take mine out. Yeah, that looks fine. Obviously, if it's dumped up or anything, you could either try and clean it or, or replace it completely. You just want to pop that back on there. You just bring you up a little, there we go. Pop the dits gun there. And then screw the wing nut back down and there you have it that's the machine put back together so you can just see there we've got the new spring gun there it is that's a new spring all done and dusted, all good. Right guys, thanks for watching my video. I hope that's helped you with your problem. So as you can see, it's not too hard to do to replace the spring on the governor arm and it's fixed the problem. So. And don't forget, it doesn't have to be a pressure washer, any four stroke engine really, whether it's a wood chip, our generator, all those kinds of things. If they've got a spring governor arm, you can do exactly the same thing I've done. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.